So the Kansas City Chiefs are a force to be reckoned with, and that's obviously no secret. But what I'm going to be talking about in this video is a key element to the Kansas City Chiefs' success. And we're going to be speaking about Brett Veach and his success on how he's been nailing these draft picks. So bear with me on this video. So the first thing when it comes to Brett Veach, right? Let's talk about what he did in 2022. So Brett Veach traded Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins for five draft picks. And people was like, Chiefs is over. Oh my God, Mahomes has never wanted another ring. Mahomes is going to have one ring. Cool. That's the things we was hearing. Oh, Mahomes is going to be nothing without Tyreek. Whatever. We knew that was funny. So he ended up getting three picks in the 2022 NFL Draft. So the Chiefs ended up having 12 total picks for the 2022 NFL Draft. And... 10 of the 12 picks started at least once, at least once in the 2022 season, and eight of them started in Super Bowl LVII, right? So, McDuffie, Carl Laftis, those were key players that Veach ended up drafting. I was in the first round. They made big plays their first year, and the second year, they made even bigger plays. He ended up getting Isaiah Pacheco. He had gotten Isaiah Johnson, I mean, Jalen Watson, Joshua Williams, like Brett Veach. He's been doing what he's had to do when it comes to drafting and also finding solid talent. So um, that, that that's something that we have to give our hats up for, for Brett Veach, right? And this year, you know, we completed the back-to-back -back and obviously key signings like Drew Tranquil was a big part of that. Um, the year before it was people like Juju and we know that Brad Veach he had to really hit on wide receivers that was his weakness but he ended up hitting on one with she Rice and now he got us like Xavier Worthy and he signed Hollywood Brown so Brad Veach he's always learning from his mistakes and that that's very that, that's very good out of a GM that's what you want to see so the, as of right now the Kansas City Chiefs have the best quarterback in the league the best tight end in the league um, they have a top well what's going to be a top wide receiver core they have a top 10 top 15 running back in Isaiah Pacheco and they have a top three offensive line or top five offensive line. So the Kansas City Chiefs, they have a lot of key things to why this why they like are so good and why they keep, you know, going to the Super Bowl. And the defense is on another level. We have a top, not even a top, I'll say we have the best defense in the league. And I love what I'm seeing out of this team and the season just got to hurry up, man. Like, that's what I'm really waiting for. I'm just waiting for the season to hurry up. Wow, I, I just got this news. I didn't know BJ Thompson went into cardiac arrest. Wow. Sorry, sorry to just mention that in my video out of nowhere, but I was looking. It said BJ Thompson went into cardiac arrest. He's on the Chiefs, and we definitely, we're going to keep him in our prayers, man. Definitely, because that's not, that's not, that, that, that's serious, man. It's been a really wild offseason. It's been a wild offseason, man. Jesus Christ, it's been a wild offseason. Like, what in the world, bro? But, um... But, yeah, back back to the video, man. So, we ended up re-signing McCole Hallman, who was obviously a hero in the Super Bowl. And when it comes to that, that's another thing. When you got a play caller like Andy Reid, you're always... You're always going to be able to win games because that play, Corn Dog, that play, amazing play. I want to see that ran with Worthy. I want to see that ran with um with Hollywood Brown. I think they would both do very very good at that. So, yeah, man, I, I just love it, bro. I'm I'm really optimistic about the Chiefs, and uh, we the fact that we still have Patrick Mahomes in his prime. I mean, he's only 28 years old. He's already in the Hall of Fame if he retires today. To be honest with you, like I said, the receiver corpse is improved. Um, we know Mahomes' numbers dipped last season, but that was because we had a lot of inconsistent pass catchers. I mean, they struggled to make explosive plays. We led the league in drives 44, and we ranked second to last in average depth of target 6.2 yards. So it's really, that was honestly horrible. You know, it was a horrible season for the offense and for Patrick Mahomes' numbers. But obviously, we emphasized on um, getting a better wide receiver core this year when Brett Veach signed Marquise Brown, a.k.a. Hollywood Brown. So one-year, $7 million deal. We drafted Xavier Worthy with the 28th pick, and that's definitely going to help our downfield passing attack. This year, even Mahomes said it himself, he said, I think this year we're going to have a team that's built to throw the ball deep. And Andy Reid has been preaching it all offseason. We're going to get back to throwing the deep, ball, the deep ball. Mahomes said he has to be smart when we do that. But at the same time, he want, he want to be that explosive offense that 
we've seen in the past. So it's looking very, very good for the offense this season. And Mahomes even said himself, we're going to have some deep ball action back. And it's going to be very, very fun to watch. And then when it comes to the defense, yeah, we lost Legereus Sneed, but that's why we have Trent McDuffie, you know. And McDuffie even himself said he think he could become a lockdown corner. He even said to himself, man, got a Miller McDuffie. He had a first team All Pro, um, first team All Pro nod in 2023. So that should definitely have us confident in knowing that he could do what he has to do. Um, he allowed only two touchdown catches and 490 receiving yards in coverage. So that that's something very very good to see you know but mcduffie did say he um wishes sneed was still on the team but he's ready to take the role that he has to take you know he's good man mcduffie's a goat he's, he's very very good um jalen watson's not bad either he's pretty solid and even tom brady himself know mahomes is coming for him man he, he knows he, he knows mahomes is coming for him <laughs> he already talking about the three P. He like they have a tremendous coach in Andy Reid. So when the GOAT even knows the three P is possible, you can't doubt the Kansas City Chiefs. Come on, man. Like the Chiefs, they're scary, like I said. They have all around they have a all around team. They have everything that you need in a team. And they're 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 coming, bro. They're coming for more greatness. Um Someone said we're even going to win five championships in a row. Now, I believe that we could win five championships in a row. But it's about it's about the possibility of that, right? Because we got to think about it. We're talented enough to win five chips in a row, aren't we? Huh. We are. But is the league going to let us win five chips in a row? Are the refs going to start being against us, even though they already be against us sometimes? Or... Like, what's gonna happen, man? Like, I gotta, I gotta think about that. It's hard. It's already hard enough to three p. So, say we three p. You think they're gonna let us win four and five? I don't. I don't. I don't know how possible that is. I don't want to say it's gonna happen. I don't know, but I do believe we could three p. If we win five in a row, I would love that even more. Trust me, that'd be beautiful if we can win five in a row. But I don't know the likeliness of that. I really don't. But what I do know is that the Kansas City Chiefs are a very good team. And they're coming for everything, man. They're destined for greatness. They're, 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 they're going crazy. You know, they're doing good every offseason when it comes to practicing and being locked in. And then when it comes to that season, they're just ready. They're just in champion mode. And when we get towards the postseason, we're damn near unbeatable because we make all our mistakes in the regular season and we make no mistakes in the postseason. That's just the key to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um... That's, we we just been so successful because of the coaching staff and Brad Beach and just the draft picks and all these young dudes ready to step up with a next man up mentality. So, yeah, man, that's really what it is. Chiefs priority and I'm out. Peace.